So my name is Dr John Drever and I'm head of the unit for sound practice research at Goldsmiths University of London and I'm also a senior lecturer in composition. As part of this symposium I, I've been doing a talk about my research into primarily into hand dryers in public toilets. So as a composer and a sound designer and also as a father I become aware of the noise effects of the new generation of hand dryers, the high speed hand dryers that use high speed air, a trem a tremendous speeds of air to strip water off hands. And primarily as a father I was aware that my kids were terrified by these devices. Um, but then as I started researching the subject further I realised there's a number of kind of, well the toilets became a kind of microcosm of, of environmental noise issues and soundscape issues around how we think about acoustics, think about designing devices and also about questions of privacy. So soundscapes is a very much an interdisciplinary field where we think about environmental sounds not necessarily as noise but potentially something that could be seen as a positive resource um, and we are thinking in more, very much a holistic way of all the sounds in the environment but right in the middle of soundscapes is, is hearing so hearing is really important um, hearing is is our tools um, and also we're interested in the hearing of and what different kind of sensitivities of hearing that different people have. In my own research I'm concerned about the hearing, not necessarily my hearing, but the way that, that noise, especially high frequency noise, um, such as the high frequency noise in something like a, a high speed hand dryer is affected on, on children who have very sensitive hearing, especially at high frequency, and as also affecting people with um, very common people with autism, for example, who have very sensitive hearing. And also often people with hearing damage, they've got something, often some, have something called hyperacusis, which can also mean that particular frequencies can be, can be very painful. It's a very interesting time for sound studies and, and soundscape studies and acoustics. Um, it's, acoustics has been very much focused on, on noise. And now is the point where we need to get beyond that, to be thinking about in a much more nuanced and subtle way, a more sociological way, and also in a much more artistic and aesthetic way about how we think about designing the sounds of the environment. The term be open is a, is a kind of challenge to artists, I think, especially artists who are concerned about design and working with the public and working in a much more socially oriented way where what we're doing really makes an impact on, on people's lives. So instead of being the hermetic artist, we need to have a sense of being open, opening our skills and also listening to the users in a very wide sense.